Hi guys, hello and welcome back to my channel Addicted Soul. I'm back with another review. So without any further delay, let's start our review. So as we know that the retro trend is coming back and so is the love for fountain pen is reviving again. In today's video, I'll tell you about a pen which is crafted by a pen maker who started his journey in 1928 and opened his first store in Hyderabad at Abitz Moti and presently is one of the oldest fountain pen manufacturers in India. The man once was a domestic merchandiser of writing instruments but then later turned into a store owner and a manufacturer who entertained Royal Nizam, Britishers, actors, students and many more. This guy was Mr. Sabi Akhtar Siddiqui and his firm name is Deccan Pens, which is in Hyderabad. Presently, the firm has three stores at Sikandrabad, Amirpet and oldest one is at Abitz, as I have told you, but caters to a vast global clientele. The store is currently run by Mr. Siddiqui's son, Mr. Harli, Halim Siddiqui and his brothers. So today I am going to review one of their masterpiece that is known as Tekken Advocate, which is one of their largest and most popular selling pen. The model, this model have undergone a lot of changes and makeovers during the course of time. But before starting reviewing this pen, I would first like to thank my dear friend, Mr. Raj, or Raj Bhai as I call him who took all the pains and helped me to acquire this beauty, this one. He himself is a fountain pen lover and a wonderful human being. I thank you bhai from the bottom of my heart for arranging this pen for me and taking out your precious time to go and buy this pen for me. So I purchased this pen around two years back and since then I am exploiting this beauty like anything. I have tested a lot of nibs of different brands like Bok, Schmidt, Ambitious, Yovo with this pen having tip like extra fine, fine, medium, broad, double broad, stub, including the stock nib that came with this pen. And frankly telling, I have seen and experienced excellent, satisfied, uninterrupted writing results so far. Recently, I have fitted this pen with extra, extra fine, ultra flex nib as you can see this extra extra fine ultra flex nib from Canwrite so this is the nib so today I will be sharing the joy of using this marvelous workhorse with this new nib and the experience of flex writing with you no matter how much the technology advances, the might of the fountain pen can never diminish. That is exactly what I think. And Deccan pens are famous for their flawless build quality. And this model reflects that very well. I'll quickly cover the physical aspects of this pen. And then we'll move on to the writing impressions of this pen. So this Advocate, as you can see, this one, it comes in two variants. One is the flat top, flat bottom, and another one is the round top and round bottom. And I will be reviewing this flat top, flat top, flat bottom model in 
mottled brown design. So this is an eyedropper pen and extremely well built oversized but lightweight pen and is made of ebonite which is pretty much shiny smooth and has no specks perforations chas mod rifts rock solid top quality ebonite is used in this pen ebonite uh, gives the soft and soothing warm comfy feel when touched as compared to other materials if we talk about the length and other dimensions of this pen the total length of this pen is around 6.4 inches and the cap length this the cap length is around 2.5 or 2.6 inches this barrel length is 4 inches and the section length this section this is around 0.8 inches if you see the total weight of this pen the total weight of ink filled pen with cap on is around 28 to 29 grams and without cap it is around 19 grams the cap has a flat top and the cap opens in six turns as it has six threads it has a fixed sturdy springy metal clip as you can see this this is the metal clip and this is fixed and sturdy and springy and the branding advocate as you can see this here is the branding the branding advocate is engraved on the cap at the right side of the clip but sometimes it's hardly visible and the cap tapers a bit at the end as you can see this it is tapering at the end here at the bottom and have a cap lip inside as you can see this let me show you if So this is the cap lip inside. Is a small plastic cup inside the cap. So posting this pen makes it absurdly long and heavy as you can see this. I won't prefer posting this pen while writing so it's better to use this pen without posting and post it the pen is nicely balanced yes it's a very well and very nicely balanced pen the barrel is really long as you can see the barrel is pretty much long and minutely tapered from the bottom that is tapered at the bottom plain and simple it's like a big tank that can hold a lot of ink beautiful crafted ebonite grip section has a concave shape which adjusts perfectly between your fingers while writing and it holds a hash 6 size friction fit nib this is the size 6 friction fit nib with a wet ebonite ink feed flow of which is extremely super see this No burping issues faced so far in these two years, and the price that I have paid for this pen is around, I think, twelve hundred bucks. And in that price range, it was a steel deal, 
but presently i think the price has gone up to 2500 and that's a bit on the costlier side right now and i will recommend this pen to those who love big and oversized pen and have big hands which can hold oversized pens if we talk about the pros and cons of this pen the first thing that i would say is the pricing the good pricing then the catchy design and then the marvelous and impeccable shiny finish of this pen as you can see this how lustrous it seems to be shining then the superior quality ebonite that is used to make this pen and the best part is the huge ink capacity which the barrel can hold the only con that according to me is it doesn't have a multiple filling mechanism it only have a eyedropper filling mechanism and i would suggest that for to the makers that in future if they can launch a model in 3 in 1 filling mechanism that would be great so now let's come on let's go further with the writing impressions and check the writing impressions the ink that i am using today is a mix of dayton sapphire uh, blue dayton sapphire blue and um, pilot blue so dayton sapphire blue i have taken 70% and pilot blue 30% which gives a slight bluish and blackish touch shade so let's see the writing samples now this is the extra extra fine nib from canwrite and it's an ultra flex nib so we'll see both the versions in extra extra fine variation writing line variation writing and the flex capacity of this nib and as you can see these are the tines of this nib and see this is how the tines open up and we work in flex nib so let us start just a moment yeah So as you can see it's a smooth wet writer and if we talk about the line variations so let's see the line variations so being a eye dropper it trail road sometimes so i have to go pretty slow if i have to use the flex feature as you can see there is small time rail loading skipping while in the continuous writing and if we talk about 
totally flex right uh, let's see the flex Exactly what you see is the flex capacity of this nib. So this is what is, and if we see the reverse writing. Oh man, now that is funny. It's like that if you go fast it will skip and it will railroad but if you will go slow it won't skip. So 
guys that's all for now and i would say that this is really a great pen and if you guys are interested in buying this pen you can definitely go ahead and buy this pen i think there are some other models also in uh, advocate uh, advocate mini is there i think and i think might be advocate medium is there but i'm not sure about it because i don't have them but for advocate mini i am pretty much sure because i have seen that model but medium size even i uh, even i uh, uh, advocate i haven't seen so whatever is your choice if you have got small hands and if you are not interested in bulky or in big supreme pens then you can go ahead with the mini pens mini advocate yeah, but if you like to write with big pens and hash six nib big nib and a bulky tank with lot of ink capacity you can definitely go ahead with this advocate it won't disappoint you on that note i'll take your leave and i'll see you again with another review in another video till then ciao bye bye vande mataram jai hind and stay safe